And it's time for Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome, everyone. Let me get the volumes going. Check, check, check. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Um, James, this is Tanya. Hello. And it's time for some more new games Ooh. on classic systems. Mm -hmm. And I just implemented a little audio, uh, dancing audio. Did you see it before I switched it over? No. Okay, well. We'll see it later. Dancing audio. Yeah, it was a little line that showed what audio was playing. It's a little jumping line. Oh, no. Spectrum analyzer? No, no. I didn't okay. see it. That's Sorry. okay. Everybody out there saw it. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're going to play some Atari 2600 games, homebrew, mm -hmm. today. Excellent. As we do every day. Yes. We do. Um, 2600. And Tanya's back mm -hmm. after... I mean, you were there for one show that wasn't really a show. The sort of impromptu between. game playing. Yeah. Trying to get on the leaderboard show. Yeah. Two hours of playing Aardvark. Aardvark. But that was fun. One game of Aardvark. So. <laughs> one game of Aardvark yeah. for two hours. Yes, yes, yes. But I got on the leaderboard and got number one, so yeah. it was all worth it. It was worth it, yeah. But it was um, <laughs> the homebrew tournament, and it was before we were officially back, mm -hmm. so I wanted to make sure I got my... Uh, score in mm -hmm. so I had to do that mm -hmm. before oh pixel was on the camera for a second yeah, yeah he passed by oh he he's over by, by the door now yeah they haven't been too cooperative for the past three shows since we've been back for season two pixel they've just been they're like no we didn't uh, we didn't negotiate our contract for a high enough price <laughs> yes Atari here's a cat yeah. there we go you just have to know there's how a cat to, bum. you just have to know how to uh, call them over yeah yeah. So we got four games today, um, Space Treat Deluxe, uh, Backfire, mm -hmm. AVGN KO Boxing, uh, and DK Arcade 2600, which is a work in progress update. Oh, cool. That's by Ice Posta, mm -hmm. who is with us as well. Wonderful. Um, the Atari video music would be perfect for the waiting room. Oh my goodness, that would be. Mm -hmm. Anybody would like to, uh, to donate an Atari video music would be i would be so happy to accept it from you <laughs> it's like this um analog box that would go in your stereo system okay and you would feed the audio into it and it would have video out that would go for, to your tv and it would be it was like one of a very early dancing uh light dancing thing oh but it would okay output and, and to your television while you're playing atari games is that the idea could be okay um probably Whatever not music it's, is more, in the it's more for you listening on your stereo system but it would Just, run through your Atari? No, it has nothing to do with the Atari gaming system. Okay. It is something made by Atari. Oh, I see. I see. For just okay. audio. Okay. And you'd plug audio in. And, and it would just create, out. it would create a video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What what did they call those? Um, Dancing lights. No, uh, no, but like, uh, like not screensavers. What did they call <laughs> screen those? Screensavers, On yes. old PCs where you would play music and... and Spectrum analyzers. No, I'm, no. I'm sure there's a name. No, no. There's Visualizations. A really... Visualizations. Thank yes. you very much. That is the and, word I was looking and for. And that's what I was, <laughs> it's what I was using yeah. before the show was a visualization. Gotcha. So yeah, plug yeah. in for FUBAR 2000. Yeah. Psst, bad cat. Yeah. Um, my bud just scored an AVM for 120 untested and it works. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good score. Yeah, they're in the hundreds, around 200, 250, I think. Okay, like um, the, the going kind of rate? Going yeah. rate for mm. one, I think U.S. Um, yes, I would mm. love to have one. 500, never mind. Wow. Never <laughs> mind. I'm not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. What are you doing? Ah, oh, the cats. Um, so I want to thank our Twitch subscribers, Gretem's Ground Trooper Ice, supposed to Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, RC70, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, 2008, and Tiki Dan K. And you can support the show and subscribe for free, too, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. Okay, he's... <laughs> he's trying to jump into... Uh... Come, on. come on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Any moment a light is going to come crashing down. Oh. He's, he's wedged himself right into the... Uh, <sighs> all, the all the gaming systems that are up on the uh, shelves. <laughs> <laughs> and Ground Trooper just upped, re-upped his uh, subscription, and now he is up to eight-month subscriber. Yep. Um, and let's see. And, as you can tell in the chat, if you're looking at the chat, mm. um, you can see that there's some new symbols there. And you can see beside Ground Trooper, there's a Z. Yeah. And beside RC70, there's a 0P... 0... <laughs> ZPH... <laughs> 
That was fun. Did you guys see that? That madness. So I've I've made some badges. Mm. Um, a three month badge and a six month or badge. It said four month actually, I think. Well, they are four months, but it is a three oh, month I badge. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So at gotcha. three, okay. you get the ZPH. Okay. At six, you get the golden Z. And nice. I haven't made a nine because nobody's up to nine yet. Okay. Except well, for myself. Enough. So yeah. I would get a nine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll have to make a nine because I just made those today. Mm -hmm. um, so um, when you um, donate with Twitch, you can. Uh, Oh, next month for you, Ground Trooper. Yep. So I will have to make a nine okay. very shortly. Yeah. Um, so that's some some update, and I was and it was fairly easy to do. So I thought, oh, I'll just I'll just do that. Mm -hmm. Get that on. Get on that niner. Yeah. Yes. And Mr. Fix brought up an interesting question before the show, mm -hmm. in the chat about if you were to pick your top ten homebrew games, mm -hmm. or top ten to recommend, which one would they be? Because he was talking in um reference to say a guide that you would give somebody if they wanted to get into a uh, mm. homebrew for the 2600 maybe they liked the original run of games but they've never really played any homebrew games mm -hmm. they just know the old ones from the 70s and 80s mm -hmm. and 90s <laughs> early early 90s um so uh, mine mine are pretty high profile ones it would be uh well, Jump Ninja. I was the first thing that jumped to my mind. Um, Draconian, for sure. Yeah, Draconian's good, too. Um, let's see. Some uh, other standout ones for me that I go back to over and over again. Um, Juno First, I really like. Um... What else? Ladybug's do, good. Do you mean like ports of games no. from other systems or no, no, just no. any, any kind of games? Any game. Those all just happen to be ports. Yeah. Um, oh, I'd have to look through my list. Mappy Splendid Nut suggests. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good um, one, of course. What's the bouncy one again? The name that keeps changing. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, amoeba Jump. Amoeba Jump. Definitely yeah, 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 Amoeba yeah. Jump. Yeah, I like Amoeba Jump. And um, uh, the way it's going... Um, Tower of Rubble as well. That's it's shaping up good. to be pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Nathan Strum said Medieval Mayhem. Yeah. That's a great multiplayer game, of course, for four people. Up oh. to four people. Oh, yeah. And there's ones without cases. Didn't even look at that. Balloon Trip's lots of fun. Um, what else? Um... Oh, that's it for now. That I think I you've can named see. my favorites so yeah, far. Yeah, you've definitely played everything. more than I have. Because some of my favorites aren't even on cartridge. I'm just looking at the cartridges. So, yeah, yeah, that that's a tough Lady, one. But Ladybug's a good one too. Ladybug is a good one. I like Ladybug. Um, and speaking of Tower of Rubble as well, uh, Dion messaged me, um, giving me an update on Tower of Rubble. I've decided that Tower of Rubble. I'm going to use an 8K bank switching ROM instead of the current 4K ROM because my planned additional features wouldn't fit into 4K anymore. I'm also looking into two-player mode, which is very exciting. Mm. That's one where you climb up um, blocks yep, yep, and yep. they come down. Yep. Yep. Can you sabotage your... your... Well, oh. <laughs> where you can play two players simultaneously to see who can survive the tower the longest. Mm -hmm. Maybe an additional co-op mode where you can respawn after you die as long as the other player is alive. So mm -hmm. if if you die, and it'll take maybe ten seconds to come back. Yeah. So you have to make sure the other guy doesn't die while In you're dead. In the ten dead. seconds, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked him a couple questions, and he said, "Yes, the two-player tower of rubble would indeed show each player a different color, which obviously makes sense. Right now he's white. Um, I'll be starting with a version where the players can pass through each other, as that requires less code changes and mm -hmm. it keeps it manageable for now." Mm -hmm. I'm not sure 100% I can pull off the two-player mode, but I'm confident enough so you can let people know on the news portion of your show. Cool. So hopefully he can pull that off because that, that would, would be, be really fun. so yeah, much fun. That would be really fun. And it kind of makes it his own because right now he's kind of um, making a port mm -hmm. of the DOS game mm -hmm. and the C64 game. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of nice that you can, he's adding on to it yeah. to making it a bit more. Yeah. A tower rubble would be a great with competitive mode where you can shove the player off. Yeah. Ooh, that's ooh, that's vicious. Or at least block the other player. 
from getting over to your side. Like you could stand there and he couldn't get past you, but if he's above you, he could walk over you and well, get past you. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's a competitive mode, then yeah, yeah. then then. But I don't know about strategy. shoving because that's maybe not shove into the water, but maybe shove off. Uh, that would be brutal. Because <laughs> how would you? Pr I guess if you're standing still and he's moving. Your opponent's moving. That's well, maybe, shoving. Maybe, but if you're both pushing... Or you can't you, jump onto each other, so you could strategically place your body so that when something fell, they would get stuck in a corner or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. interesting. I want to there, see... There's, I, there's some... Yeah, there's options. There's options. There's some ideas there. Um, yeah. Besides challenging yourself to 4K and ease of EEPROM cart making, games should be whatever you need to make a great game. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. Yes. Uh, any size. A, gr a great game is a great game. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, some people want to take up the challenge of putting it into 4K. Yeah. Or weapons. Or weapons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that changes a the little, game drastically a, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, a little stab. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know about the weapons. That yeah, really puts it into a new category. You but never hey, know. never know. Or the ability to speed up the falling blocks or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Kinda I don't know. That into, might be too hard. Kind of gets know. into Tetris territory at that point. Yeah. Because if they're falling faster, they're falling faster for you, yeah. too. True. Yeah. <laughs> or something that falls just directly on, or they're different on them. Colors. You c control the reds, they control the blues. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think I'm making it a little too complex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyway. Possibly. Yeah, yeah. There are ways. And um, I think I announced it last show that I'm. You remember that game I played with Corey? Yes. Um, the. Uh, this one, ice Frost, flow one, Frostbite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got like fourth in the world. Yeah, good. And I also. Uh, accomplished my um to get my patch oh okay. if i wanted to get a patch yeah and because i achieved the score that activision said to that you need to get okay back in the day you nice. took a picture of your television sent it in yeah um so i thought oh I, i'll make that into like a little offshoot series of yeah. me getting my patches <laughs> um it wouldn't be part of the regular show because that is not homebrew at all it would just be impromptu shows, and that's how I did it just have with Corey. Yeah. It's like, if I have some time, mm -hmm. um, I'll just pop in a cartridge, turn on the stream, and go for it. Mm -hmm. So I've lined up a couple games, but I won't know when I'm playing them, and I won't schedule It'll them. It'll just be when they fit in, when you've got time. Yeah. Yeah. So Spider Fighter's next, mm. and then uh, Stampede, then Keystone Capers, and then River Raid. Um, mm. So... And I was playing River Raid a little bit today, and I think that's very achievable, mm. the, the amount. I think I got 9,000 after three games, okay. and you need 15. Okay. So it's like, nah. You don't have too much No problem. To oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to go for all the patches in all the Activision mm. games, and there's like 30 or 40 cool. to get. So that'll be fun. Cool. Yeah, General Jughead says Activision patches are awesome. Mm -hmm. But they range from like $30 to like $300 oh, to I'm buy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you think about the limited number of people. Yeah. That actually got them because you'd have to get the score, own the cartridge, get the score, mm. take a picture of it, send it in to them, and hopefully get it back, and then keep it yeah. <laughs> and not throw it away. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah. Or not make... have your parents throw it away when yeah, you're it's away. Old college, garbage, right? Yeah. Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> or it got sewn on something yeah. and that thing got thrown yeah. away. Yeah. 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 So that, yeah, laser blast, oh my god, that's going to be way last. That's very, <laughs> very hard. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not hard, but mind-numbingly boring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing over and over, and it doesn't get harder, I don't think, really. It gets up mm. to a point very quickly. The challenge to get a patch score is fun also. Yeah, just getting the scores is good enough. Yeah. But then when I'm at a convention, I can go, oh, I don't have that patch. That's a good deal. Pick that one up. Mm. But I have to get the score first. Yeah. To justify. Has to be justified. Yeah. Um, and I was I just like looking back at old episodes. Yeah. And um, when the first episode that we ever aired was Darcy, Dan AVC. Oh. Was the first person to tune into the first oh, show. Oh, cool. And that was the first name that we ever said. Oh, cool. So let's go through all the people that are here today. Yes. Speaking of that, Mr. Fix, Splendid Nut, Nathan Strum, Ground Trooper, RC7E, uh, I suppose to Azure 6502, Dan AVC, and I called him Dana, Dana VC, because <laughs> I didn't know who he was. Dan AVC, 
Um, General Jughead. And, oh, congrats, Dan AVC. I suppose to <laughs> says. Yeah, he's old school and still around mm -hmm. after a year and a bit okay. now. <laughs> so let's get into our first game, which is Space Treat Deluxe. Space Treat. That sounds very exciting. Yes. It sounds got... like floating ice cream cones or something like that. I think like there that. are ice cream cones <laughs> Are in there it. really? There are. <laughs> I think if you get up to a Excellent. high enough level... Excellent. Okay. Uh, and that's from 2003. So okay. we're going to play some old games today. Yeah. So let's get that up and running here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that screen doesn't look so good. Let's fix that. Probably a cat. Or maybe. Actually, it's probably the encoder. Let's switch it over here first. There you go. Yeah, it's visible. Yeah. It's just the encoder on this side. This does not look right. No, you went to the wrong date. Today is How not the 10th. How do I go tenth. back? How do I go back? Up at the top. No, you were at the top. Oh. Yep, press the button. Yeah. And the day is the 12th, not the 10th. Oh, well, you have 2918 on Oh, there. never mind. <laughs> we're in the future. 900 <laughs> in the future. years in the future. <laughs> That's what confused me. <laughs> uh, Space Treat Deluxe. One down. We're not playing Angry Video Game Nerd? Uh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, that's loud. There, sorry for your ears. So, Space Tree, 2003 by Fabio. I don't think he changed the title screen. It did say Deluxe, I'm sure. Mm. Um, so this was first posted about, and this build was released on May 21st, 2003. Mm -hmm. It's a 4K game. And it is still available for sale in the Atari Age store. Or you could download it if you want. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, his name on the Atari Age forums is Rasty. Other games is Bounce. We played that in the show. Space Treat, the original. <laughs> Space Treat Deluxe and a number of hacks. And NTSC PAL conversions. So go for it. So what am I doing? You are... Uh, it is kind of like Frogger. Except oh. in space. Oh. So you have to go up, but unlike Frogger, you have to come back down after you've got the strawberry, apparently, in this one. You can move left and right as oh, well. Oh, jeez. You float left and right. So go up. How do I? I can't. What? You missed the strawberry. No, I can't go up. Yep. No, wait for the strawberry. And no. There you oh, go. Oh, gotcha. You can't go up till there's a... Like, in Frogger, I, no, you can't go I into was... your lily pad until you're across from the lily pad. Oh. just made it i didn't quite yeah <laughs> no just, it makes sense now just barely i just it. i thought i was would jump up and it would come to me uh, it's okay dan avc says he's a big fan of homebrew games for the 2600 which makes sense why he was in on the first show yeah it's like oh homebrew stream yeah. i'm gonna check that out <laughs> ah, whoops. nope luckily you get a lot of lives oh that's good so uh from the atari age store description because these old games are very hard to find information about in Space Treat Deluxe, you control a ship that must reach the top of the screen. Collect the tasty <sighs> treat located there and get it back to its base at the bottom. Uh, the original version of Space Treat was released in 2002 Classic Gaming Expo. And this new version adds several improvements to the original, including scoring. So there was no score in the first one? Interesting. <laughs> so there's the score. 2320. High score feature. More stable graphics. 7800 compatibility, wider emulators compatibility, various cosmetic, various cosmetic and audio improvements. So uh, what, I played this a little bit, and the best strategy is to get into a slow lane. Like find the slow lanes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Stay there, and then get past the fast lanes quick. Oh, see, I've right done that a couple it. of times. Timing it myself. Probably. So let's bring up the instructions. Uh, your planet, a peaceful M class world, has always been living in harmony. And this allowed its people to quickly evolve into the space era. Anyway, as you might have guessed, no good is going to last. There came a time where the forces of evil, namely your neighbor planet, started to strike against you. The evil inhabitants are quite different. 
They don't care about nature and peace. They are greedy and only think about consuming the planet's resources to gain more and more riches. This quickly led to a total draining of anything their planet had to offer, making them more and more envious of your prospering world. Unable to obtain any more of their environment, the evil planet sent its combat drones to attack your world, <laughs> aiming at stealing your food resources. Unfortunately, they're succeeding in getting their tentacles on your valuable goods, trapping them in a space cage above your planet. Uh-oh. Running out of space. <laughs> Object of the game. Your mission is to bring back as much food as possible before the drones take it away with them. General Jughead says, I think it's awesome people continue to make games for the Atari. Oh, it is awesome. Backwards. It's amazing. Yeah, you can go backwards. No, you can't. What? You can't go back. Once you move off of your platform there. Oh, your platform. Yeah. yeah but... You can't go back to it. So it's like if you no, no, get no. stuck. That's too safe. Yeah. Once you've launched, that's it. You can go back one or forward anywhere, anywhere, anywhere you want. Is there something better? <clears throat> so you know the directions. Um, any of these in order to complete your mission you'll have to guide your ship to the upper left uh, upper level of the screen where the cage represented a horizontal line uh, while avoiding uh, the mortal contact with the enemy drones positioning the ship under the opening door in the cage and push up to collect the food at this point the enemy will detect you and send a new drone so quickly get back to the base in order to move to the next level yeah. There are no cats down here. I heard a cat somewhere. Upstairs. Oh, upstairs. Yeah. During your trips, you'll have to keep an eye on fuel level that constantly decreases once you leave the ground. When it's low, it'll become yellow. Should it turn red, your ship will move slower. Oh. And it runs. And if it runs out, you better prepare the next ship. Be careful because you are a limited supply of six ships. You'll also lose one when crashing against the drones. Getting your ship destroyed will also result in losing the food you're carrying. Carefully maneuver. Ah, I didn't move back. <laughs> Game says otherwise. <laughs> no, I, it's not the greatest uh, controller for me. There you go. Levels. Space Street contains 99 levels of increasing difficulty. 99. The first two levels are the easiest ones. Useful for basic control practice. Yes. Starting with level three, the cage containing the food will be locked. You'll have to collect a pass key in order to open it. So that's what this level is. Mm. So that's the pass key. Uh, level seven and above are the most difficult ones with speeding drones adopting to advanced movement patterns. Level structures change each time you play. Each new game is a different challenge. 100 points for each remaining ship at each level, so there is a bonus for not dying. 10 points for each fuel unit, so doing it quickly gets you points as well. And 1,000 points for clearing a level without losing a life. Ah, interesting. Additional points ranging from 10 to 1,000 for each stage cleared. Bonus depends on your current level. Playing tips. Always cho carefully choose the location you will leave your base as the fuel will not decrease while you're connected to it, but you won't be able to get back until you collect the food. My turn. Yeah, you play. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. So I'm right there. Challenging. Take Where? some time. Take some time. Take some time just to examine the movement patterns of the drones to find the best place and time to start your trip both upward and downward. You can take a break between levels since the game will wait for you to push the far button before starting a new screen. About the game, you haven't covered this, have you? No. Okay. Done it in order. So. Space Street was started in May 2002 as my first homebrew. The idea was, yeah, the idea has evolved a lot during the creation process, with many features being included or scrapped. A lot of suggestions came from people on the Stella list and great support from the Atari Age forums and other individuals. Level three. Mm-hmm. Good job. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Sometimes it's just timed up very 
Yes. Like not in your favor. See what I mean? Like it's just timed up, not timed up in your favor. Oh, <laughs> terrible moves. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's, oh my god. From like level three onwards, it, it becomes very challenging to um, find the points with which you need to kind of move. Yes. You know, like start and end your. That is for sure. Ooh, good. Ooh. Oh. Oh. See? Challenging. Terrible. Challenging. Oh no, oh, you goodness. missed it. It'll come back. No. <laughs> oh no. See? Level three. Very challenging. Anybody out there played this game or the original yeah. one? Yeah. What was the original on? Just space treats. <laughs> no, what was deluxe. it on? Like or on oh, Atari? Oh no, it was on Atari. Oh, I see. I see. It's an it's you um, just added more to it. Or like a revamped version of it, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Updated, more more things. It has score now and probably more levels, more better graphics. Mm. Said it uh, added better sound to it. Yeah, I like the sh I like the sound. Oh. Slipped. And I know. slipped off it. I know. I know. <laughs> it's challenging. Get it. There. Hooray. It's coming for you. And really nice looking um, enemies as well. Yeah. And really good variety yeah, and really agreed. good colors. Ooh, four. Good job. Good job. Now Thank it gets really much. challenging. Ooh, it's a pear. Yeah. I like the pear. Nice color on the yeah. pear. Down. Oh. Oh. oh, good. I barely good got timing. that one because it was level at an five. angle. General Drug had the game ramps up quickly. Yeah. yeah. From level two to three is a huge jump. One and two are your only kind of <laughs> get used to it kind of levels because once you hit three, it's pretty fast. This looks slower. It's. I think it's pretty random. Like is this it? is slow. This is a this slow. Is, this level. definitely looks That's slower sure. than the last one. I mean, maybe there's more on the screen. No, well, maybe because there's more I like threes. The candy canes. Yeah. Oh, watermelon. Is it? Oh, cute. <laughs> really good graphics <laughs> like for the fruit. I like it. I'm waiting for the ice cream cone. <laughs> it just seems appropriate somehow. Oh, the watermelon's so cute. So does that mean it has 99 different yeah. graphics for food? That's what it's implying. 99 fruits and treats and... Some candy? Bonbon? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Wrapped up candy? A wrapped up candy. I know it would be smaller in the on the sides. No, maybe. No, the candy's in the middle. It's flared out at the sides. Yeah, oh, maybe. Come back here. It's, he's going to come. He'll be back. Why did you jump? Because I... You could have oh. gotten him. They circle around. Nice. Just barely. Yeah. It's hard to go backwards. Like if you're if you're too far too far from the start point. Oh. That was good. Devastation. They say level seven, it ramps up quickly at level yes. seven, so Okay. You you, oh you don't wanna play another one? No, I do. Okay. Give you another go. Yeah. Oh, it is very Frogger-like, though. When did you end? You didn't read everything, did you? I didn't do the about the author. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to or not. So. I started programming ex programming experience as a kid. Once I understood that creating games could have been at least as much fun as playing them. Being quite too young to fully understand 6502 assembler on my Commodore 64, um, my early years passed by with mostly basic programming. Sounds like me. But the call for speed was strong. Let me turn it down too much. Yeah, I can't even hear it. There we go. Oh, jump from six to seven is much. Um, I often tried my hand at 8 bits assembler. By the end of the 64 year, I managed to grasp the basics of machine language. After the 64 came the Amiga, along with the powerful and readable 68,000 assembler. That's where I had most of my assembler activity. Coding demos that were released in the app 
in the, at the time, intense demo group scene. Outer space frogger, Mr. Frick says. Long hours spent on assembler can really open up your mind to the inner workings of hardware and software, something that's being lost in more and more generations of programming language surfaces. Nowadays, even if my daily job is not related to games or low-level programming, I keep doing ASM coding for fun, both because I love Atari and since it's a great exercise. And then he thanks a bunch of people. Uh, I recognize some of these names. Albert Russo, Thomas Jens, Paul Slocum. Don't recognize the rest. So I won't read them out because it won't make any sense to anybody else either. So the original Space Treat was sold in 2002. And then the binary for the original Space Treat was released in August 2002. Space Treat, Space Treat Deluxe release was Philly Classic 4 in 2003. Then the binaries, May 21st, 2003. Terrible. Level three. No, I'm gonna nope, go again. again. No, no, I'm done that. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's very, it's, it's like Frogger except you have to get back, as well. Yeah. You retrieve it. Frogger is, Frogger is a one-way ride. Even in Frogger Two, it's still one way. It's mm -hmm. always leaping forward. I can't think of a game that uh, is there and back. I mean, Freeway is just across. And when you got hit, you got sent back. You didn't die. You just flapped your wings mm -hmm. and got sent back. Um, things where you have to go retrieve. There's not many, actually. This is a fairly original concept. There's usually a shooting in these kind of games as well, mm -hmm. where you can shoot them. But this one's more of like just a, a more peaceful one. <laughs> Getting the fruit and coming back. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember who this was suggested by because there's so many games yeah. so many games over the years over the of years. homebrew yeah 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 so it's nice to go back and revisit ones that maybe have been forgotten or aren't high profile ones and um, just checking them out and so if anybody has other suggestions um, for old ones that i may never encounter on my own just uh yeah just let me know because this one's great crossy road is also frogger like Crossy Road. Yeah, that's a modern game. I haven't played mm -hmm. Crossy Road. I remember it being all the rage like a couple years ago. About seeing seeing a lot about it. Yeah, but I never saw it or uh, or played it. Yeah. Or maybe I did play it very very briefly. Oh, that was, level three. That was much easier. Good job. The, the bottom row it's wasn't so random. fast. I think it's random. Well, kind of random, but it does get. Like this, this seems a lot bad. slower. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's it does seem I a bit random. I didn't see any options for oh, switches. Oh, I see. I didn't mean to do that. That's really annoying. Oh, I can see. Yeah, the pair is locked until you get the dot. Oh, oh no! It didn't let me go up. Just a bit off. I heard you press it. Yeah, a little bit off there. Uh, reset switch. Oh, right difficulty for the PAL version. No, the console switches are unused, so there's no hard or easy version of this game. It's just what it is. Oh, see, uh, you know what? I'm, lane. I'm. That fast lane goes faster than you can move. So. Oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. some of them, some of them, you can, you can speed ahead or behind of. But not that. That's way no. too fast. <laughs> Reminds me of animals darting on the road when you go in front of the fast ones. Yeah. It's like ah, run. Of animals like run into your way and then back the other oh, way. I didn't go backwards. Mm. This that this planet sucks is a two way. Oh yeah yeah that's right we did play. This planet sucks. Yeah, um, where you have to go retrieve um, people stranded. Okay yeah. With your spaceship and you have a thruster to slow yourself down and you land softly then you go back up into the back up to rescue them bring them back to the main ship. And slow. <laughs> you know you can move your thing to 
begin with, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because like uh, there's actually strategy. Well, I was trying to use strategy, but I just died too frequently. <laughs> but uh, when it's really, really fast, yes. uh, you want to start at the far uh, end so that yes. you can kind of go with the flow of the fast moving thing and jump into it. Because if it's behind, mm, then you, you, won't, you can't get there. So mm, That's smart. Yeah. But again, you still have to reasonably avoid getting hit to get actually, you know, make use of that strategy. So this, this should be over here. Yeah, it should it should be at the far end of the direction of of the lowest one, I think, because um, if you end up past it, then you're screwed. You have to go backwards and, and jump back around. So yeah, see see these guys are fast for level two. Is yeah. this two or no, three? No, three. I had to get a yeah. I had to get a little piece. So. Yeah. A level four. There's a, quite a few fast ones, but mm -hmm. oh my god! And you can't go backwards too, right? So no. Once you've made your you decision, wanna, you want to start as far to well, I guess Boy, as far why to is the this right. In the fast lane. And always. Oh my god. See. Ah, ah, back. ah! Ah! Oh! Get him! Get him! Yeah! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh. See, you want it. You want. You want to start at the far end. Yeah. See? Method to my so madness. over here? Yeah. yeah. So just follow the timing of it, so... It will make it when you when you come back. Make it easier, I should say. These yeah. guys catch up with you. Ah. So, yeah. <laughs> Some, like, as you say, it's kind of random, but the, the placement of the fast lanes is, like, really, really screws you up sometimes. It does. Because you can't, you can't run faster than them, if that makes sense. Yeah. Remember the Flintstones? Nice and slow. That's the way to do it. No, I have no idea what that's in reference to. I did watch a lot of Flintstones yeah. cartoons. It was as a, a kid. long time, though. Yeah. A long time since I've seen a Flintstones yeah, cartoon. Yeah, so if that's a reference to something they say, or say in the movie, which I did think I watched, but not very intently. <laughs> oh no! Level five, game over. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. So that was good. That was a fun game. Let's go back, load up the next one. Yeah, there's lots of fun games to be had delving in the archives. Mm. Just because they're old doesn't mean they're bad. <laughs> it's all about um, playability and the concept of it. Not necessarily like advanced graphics using the latest Atari technology, mm. which just seems kind of a funny thing to say. But there is, there is like the latest Atari technology with like um, co-processors mm -hmm. on chips and stuff. So we're going to play Backfire now. Okay. I played a little bit of this and it is Oops. challenging. Hard. Challenging. Hard, hard, mm. hard, hard, hard. Chad, Chad Vision. Chad Lair. <laughs> By Chad Lair. Wow, that's like a real 80s name. Chad? Chad Lair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't do anything about his last name. No, it's pretty cool. But Chad, yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> It'll make a uh, comeback. Oh, eventually, it all comes it around. It all comes around. As soon as it, as soon as, just after the, when they're old, just after they're like that generation well, is gone, then it's nobody's named that, and well, they're not reminded of their grandparents yeah, because of that name. Yeah, that's true. Or they are reminded of their grandparents and they want to bring it back. Yeah. Or it's usually up to famous people having the name. Or, yeah, naming their children. But up no, I agree with people. you. It's like after the sort of oldest generation that those names start to disappear, then they start coming back around again. Yeah. I think Agnes will make a <laughs> I don't comeback. know about Agnes. I did have a friend, Bernice. Maud. I, 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 I know Bernice? someone with the name Bernice. That's a pretty old name. Uh, that is. Yeah. Um, but things like Estelle and Eva Stop. and Ella. Eva. Yeah. And those are con those are names, popular names now. And and those were quite old. Those are older names. You know? Yes. Yeah. Um, Stella, Stella. RC70 had to look up that reference, but based on the description, it sounds like a deep plot for a Saturday morning yeah. cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this okay. is ma made by, as you can see, Chad, Chad Lair, Lair, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Chad Division. In 2003, first posted August 3rd, and the final build was sometime in 2003. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find information back then. Um, this is the only game he ever completed. He started another one called Cyclostar, but he abandoned that. Mm. Um, so go for it. 
See if you can figure it out. Uh, his only completed homebrew. He was working on another one called Cyclostar in 2002. Why am I going crazy? <laughs> but he abandoned that sense. one. He said, any of you who have been waiting for me to, to complete Cyclostar will be disappointed. I didn't plan it very well, and it basically needed to be completely rewritten in order to make it work. I may come back to it at some point, but not anytime soon. I know that a few of you are looking forward to seeking Cycl Cyclostar completed, as well as I. What I ended up was a really cool looking demo of a UFO that flashes and fires out four sides. But I don't have enough cycles during the kernel to put any more sprites on the screen. But anyway, on to this game. Um, it's over. So he posted. Yep, it's all over. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. There you go, try again. <laughs> and you shot yourself. Myself? <laughs> Is that me at the top? And at the bottom. But I'm not shooting both of them. No, but you are shooting yourself. Well, I can't yourself. shoot. I can't shoot. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... This sucks. <laughs> I'm, like, way off. Okay, I'll tell you how to play. You can press up to switch to your up guy. Oh, see? Things you should be telling me. <laughs> and don't let that plane get to the bottom. There you go. So it's obviously easier to switch to the top guy. And you have to right now. Yeah. Uh, and you shot yourself. Um, description. You have two guns. Uh, unfortunately, it's one of those old games that didn't, uh, they didn't really go for the the button to start the game again back then. Uh, okay. RC70 says, don't shoot yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's a good tip for any it's game. good tactic. Don't shoot yourself. So that's the thing you have to watch out for in this game is to not destroy yourself. So try and not line up yourself with the other person. It was Warring Worms 2002 oh, Baroque Gaming banned from here? Are good to... What? What? What do you mean I supposed to? Warring Worms banned? Oh, I did I shoot myself again? No, you can't hit the... That's very confusing. <laughs> yeah, those things bounce back. Oh! <laughs> so you shoot those, you, you have yeah, to move yeah, out of the way. Yeah, they're mirrors, basically. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> not the game, not the game. Just the, the reset? reset. Yeah. Yes, it's <laughs> not the game. Terribly annoying. The game's, the game's neat. I think it just takes to, a little bit of time control, to get used to it. To control the gun on the top of the screen, press up. To switch to the other gun, press down. Once you're controlling a gun, you can move horizontally and shoot. If you have a clear shot all the way across the screen, you can accidentally blow up your own gun. Also, if you shoot one of the barriers, your shot is reflected back at you, and you have to get out of the way. Yeah, Hence, okay. backfire. Scoring. <sighs> There are four types of targets. Spaceships are worth 10 points. If you shoot them uh, when they're on one of the center lines, zero points if they're on the line right next to your gun, or five points anywhere else on the screen. There are also red, blue, and green UFOs. The red ones are worth 100, the blue ones give you an extra life, and the green ones clear out all the barriers and set you back to an easier level where you have more clear shots. If you don't shoot any green F UFOs for the, a while, the level gets ridiculously hard. How to win? You can't. This is Atari. You play till you lose. <laughs> Them's the rules. So, difficult. Mm -hmm. Yep. I just want to see if there's an early, easier version. Nope. Difficulty switches, select switch, and black and white color switch have no effect. Only the first joystick is used. Um... I don't have a website yet, but I've emailed the .bin file to Atari Age so they can post it, and I'm planning on having them sell cartridges and do a label contest. Uh, so to all of you Cosmic Arc fans, I'm sorry about Cyclostar. To all of you Atlantis fans, I hope you enjoy Backfire. Yeah, see? Ha, it's challenging. I... So the secret... It's timing the shot, really. Shoot and move. Yeah. And time the shot. Do not stay still while you no. shoot. Because something will. I don't know how you can never get that UFO. Oh, got my God, you. I shot, got you. Shot myself, too, I think. Oh. Oh, 95. <laughs> That was better than me. Reset. <laughs> reset. This is when you need train cats. Yes. Press the reset <laughs> cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I always have trouble timing the shots. I think it takes a few goes. I 
I agree that, um, watch out. Ah. Oh, oh, right into it. front of me. Uh, ah, I didn't get my shot back. Oh, and I shot myself? Dead. 60, 60 points. Uh, <laughs> this is super hard. Yeah. No, we've been playing Warring Worms. I think I scheduled it. For Warring Worms? An upcoming... Yeah, it's on the 19th. Mm. Ice Posta. So don't worry, you'll get your warring worms. <laughs> Is that like worms the game? Uh... It's like it's like Tron. Oh, but okay. With shooting. Oh, okay. Uh, really? <laughs> I happen to be lined up exactly. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> what is happening? It's what hard. just happened? It's hard. Hmm? It's bloody hard. Oh, yeah. Like frustratingly hard, and I think it. I think it ramps up way too quick, the difficulty. Yeah. Like, it goes from no barriers to tons of barriers. Like, like that's crazy. Oh, see, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I mean, the mechanics are really, really cool. Where Ugh. you have to watch out for shooting yourself. That's like a very, very unique mechanic. Yeah, that's for sure. Die. Ah, twice in a <laughs> row! But, I mean, jeez insane Any information I think you read it all yeah uh. Uh, he's gonna get me oh I got you and you shot yourself and you uh. shot yourself again one life left that's what that's how you die I don't know how you get this these guys when they're so deep within the oh I know like so much protection I'm not good at switching back and forth. Uh, Where to move? Yeah. And you only get one shot, so you have to wait for it to come back out of the bouncing. Yeah, I know. So if somehow you get it trapped in between two. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, you got him. Yeah, does that it's save easier. You? Yeah, it does. <gasps> it does. Yeah. Oh, so you get a tiny little chance to redeem yourself. Uh, ah. 40 is my best. <laughs> One more from me. It's pretty good. I mean, it makes for a pretty quick uh, a quick game. Sometimes that's nice, too. Warm Worms or Warm Returns. Which did you download? The Warm Returns. That's the one I downloaded. I'm trying to get that UFO. I think I got him. No. Yeah. That's kind of cool that you can save yourself at the last second. It's really hard to do, but... It's hard to tell which direction he's going to go to. Like, if he's there, is he going to go up or is he going to cross over to down? Oh, your score is really good. Oh, no! Shot myself. One more, one more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. Ooh. Ooh. Careful. Careful you don't shot you, shoot yourself. Yeah. Oh! oh 185. That was I'll good. Retire that was good. On that score. Yeah. Does it go towards the active gun? Not uh, necessarily. It just bounces back. 
No, 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 not the ball. The it's oh. Uh, um, Oh, you mean when it's moving? The the airplane, possibly. No, I didn't. I didn't notice. Like when it appears, maybe it does. It appears, but, but not... then it seems to move towards your gun. So does flipping it, flipping no, around no. help you? I don't no, think it, it so. Doesn't, flipping around doesn't help. No. But maybe when it's a when it appears, it starts going towards the active gun, but doesn't change direction. I active. don't think it changes back. No, 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 never. Changes I don't think back. flipping helps you save yourself at the other no. end does it no you know, i almost want you to try that now it doesn't <laughs> it just keeps going because that would just give you lots of time right okay so i'm on the bottom gun and it went no, towards it's the top. floating towards the top so if i stay on the bottom it's not going to change no I mean, that's obvious, yeah see now i'm on the top is it going to go away no. no it's going towards it's you. random it's random now it's going towards the top Whoa, reflected shot. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Not on purpose. But I didn't do too bad last time. Oh! Uh -huh. No, you did quite well last time. I don't think I've ever shot a UFO. Well, they moved. Oh, oh you got, got him! Oh, you got a lot of points for that. Yeah, you get extra lives and extra points. Really? Yeah. Well, not, that didn't help you, but... But they're really, really yeah. hard. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't make sense. You could just keep switching. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it would be like a try. It'd <laughs> be, be a little too easy. Way too easy. Because you could just keep switching to keep keep trying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one because that one is hard, 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 hard. And I think we played the original one of this game a long time ago. We played out played KO Boxing. And this is AVGN KO Boxing. Mm -hmm button avgn yes now anybody out there not Oops. know who avgn is he is the angry video game nerd james rolf yes <laughs> who does a tongue-in-cheek video game review show yes uh done in the character angry video game nerd so mm -hmm. he has pocket protector a white shirt um not really thick glasses. No, not thick glasses. Just normal, normal glasses. Normal glasses. Um, and he's he was one of the wow. original. That's a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it'll 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 figure under. itself out. Um, nice. He is one of the original video game reviewers on the internet. Uh, he started doing video game reviews before YouTube was invented, mm -hmm. um, back in two thousand four. It was wow. the first one he went okay. he put online. They're tongue in cheek. They're not really reviews. They're well, kind of reviews. Yeah. They're um, entertainment. They're more entertainment than anything. But he does review bad games. Like the, they are bad games. Mm -hmm. He just goes way over the top. Yeah. Um, and you've seen him just because I've played him on the TV. Oh, no, no, we watch his. Yeah. We watch his. Uh... He's also a filmmaker as well. Yeah. Um, besides that, so I find him interesting in that respect mm -hmm. um, because he he really likes games and. Um, and making movies. film and, and making independent films. film yeah yeah yep. um and from his wikipedia it says angry video game nerd is considered one of the pioneers of internet review videos being highly influ influential on style and format of sub subsequent video reviewers as well as being responsible for help bring the concept into mainstream mm -hmm. and uh yeah he was you know one of the first people to like talk about atari video games mm -hmm. atari 2600 ones in video form on the internet as well that's cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so this is made by devon d cook mm -hmm. aka devon uh first posted about on august 17th 2009 and this build is from september 6 2009 it's 32k and he's made two other games besides this one uh ko chuck norris mm -hmm. and ko cruiser they're all boxing games they're all based on the same engine just with different graphics and different moves. Um, so, very nice title screen with some gold going <laughs> up. And uh, Big Rigs AVGN is funny. Yeah, that one's a good one because that mm -hmm. one's a very messed up game. Uh, and he said, Hello, all. I'm pleased to announce that I've finished my first sequel to KO Cruiser. In Angry Video Game Nerd KO Box, and you fight the cast and characters from the hit nice. internet show Angry Video Game Nerd. <laughs> In case you're not familiar with the show, The Angry Video Game Nerd is an internet show based on reviewing old games. The nerd is a retro gamer like us. 
It would have been a and has been aggravated playing terrible games. Often in the past, we would buy a game only to find out it was terrible. Uh, the show combines knowledge of video games uh, and old systems with rants so acerbic and scatological that they can cause <laughs> paint to peel. In quite a few episodes, characters from the game such as Joker, Cowardly Lion, Bugs Bunny, etc. join in. Mike Matei, who acts in these roles and creates the episode's title art, was kind enough to draw the cover for this mm. game. He was also helpful by giving me tips and suggestions during development. Um, where Chuck game? Where's the Chuck game? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you can search for it on the Atari Age forums. The It's called K.O. Chuck Norris, and it's You're Fighting Chuck Norris. Okay. <laughs> So, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably. I think he made it where it's really, really hard, and he, and if you get hit by him, you're down in one okay. hit. So you can't let him hit you at all. Um, enjoy. In this sequel, I added the ability to dodge punches. When your opponent is about to throw a punch, you can move left or right to dodge. If your boxer is not in danger, you will move normally. I'll update my other boxing game to use this feature. Okay. So let's get to the instructions. Yes, I'm not going to start first. until you tell me uh, <laughs> how to play. How to play, or this, I can start playing, but I just didn't want to start. Yeah, I, this I, one I'm you not do good. need the instructions. I find boxing games are a little awfully; they can be complex. So the joystick moves your direction, your player. Left, right. Left, forward, right, forward, back. back. Gotcha. Or dodge left, dodge right. <laughs> when he's punching. Okay. <laughs> um, guard, guard, forward or back, just With guards. holding like, the button. Uh, with a button holds puts up your guard or punching left right with the button so fairly simple controls mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see you'll figure it out soon, <laughs> soon enough wish you made a ko2 but hasn't been on the boards for years it will play more like punch out mm. Mm. no some of these people who make these games they just disappear they just you well, know they do their thing they yeah. want the challenge of doing it That's yeah and then they're just done yeah and if you're knocked down during a match, you have to get up before the referee counts to 10. Mm. To get up, rapidly tap the button until your thumb gets numb. Uh, when you're close to getting up, your character will shake. Depending on how, well, how well the fight is going, it might be easy to get up or impossible. Mm. So in Mike Tyson's punch out, on which is this is what it's taking, uh, taking off after, of, yeah. or just punch out the arcade game by Nintendo, Yeah. Um, it's actually a puzzle game. Yeah, it's about it's an I know action puzzle game. Yeah, yeah. So it's about understanding your the opponent that you're fighting, and what what sequence of button presses you need yeah. to to be when them. they punch, how they punch, yeah. how to dodge that, yeah. and then when to hit them back based on yeah. what they're doing. Mm. Yeah. Um, each round is three minutes long. You cannot be saved by the bell. The three knockdown rules in effect. If you knock down an opponent three times in a round, you will win by technical knockout. Also, you can get TKO'd. After three rounds, the judge will decide the match. You can have one rematch per opponent. So, mm. uh, difficulty one, two, three. Obviously, you want to do one. Because <laughs> two is twice as fast, and three is twice as fast and twice as powerful with the opponent. Mm. Um, bottles of Rolling Rock, which is what the angry video of game yeah, nerd pretends to drink anyway. Yeah. Um, tips. Wait for the opponent to throw a punch, then counterattack. When you block a punch, your guard is broken. You need to guard again to stop the next punch. So mm. You can't just hold it up. You have to hold it up and then drop it and hold it up. Yeah. Most punches can be blocked. However, some final punches are too powerful to be blocked to get out of the way. For better control, hold down the button and then move the joystick to punch and block. So hold the button first, not at the, both at the same time. Oh, hold like first. Like to block. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You've started. I think you've got enough. Cursing at the game often helps for some strange reason. Mm -hmm. So you first, you're fighting angry video game nerd. First appeared Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Fight location, nerd's game room. So I guess that's his shelves. So should have dodged there. Ah. There you go. You dodged successfully. because he threw, he threw a right, so you dodged to your right. Very much dodge that. Get him. Get in there. Get in. There you go. Get him again. There you go. There you go. And usually it's more rhythmic. It's, it's like it's boom, hard. boom, boom like that. There you go. And left again. Right again. There you go. 
Real Cafe Man has joined us. Hello, Cafe <laughs> Man. And hello, Mr. Beefy Morris as well. <laughs> We're playing AVGN KO Boxing. There you go. Got me. Oh, yep. No, I usually can't hit yeah. him because he puts up his guard. Oh, I see. So you have to wait for him to throw a punch, dodge it, then hit him. So you stand there, wait, then dodge the opposite. Oh, other way. Dodge that way. With no button. You just... Ah, <laughs> see, I move and then move back because I think he's actually hit me. There you go. Go hit him. Quick. It's a very slow recovery from throwing a punch. Three minutes. I think you hit him more. I don't know. <laughs> but nobody went down, though. Oh, I see. There we go. Yeah. I was like waiting for something to happen. It's waiting for you to press the button to continue. I mean, some opponents I'm sure you can hit with a punch, but most opponents yeah. in the in punch out will block every single punch you throw. There you go. There you go. A couple more, and you got him yeah. down. Yeah. One more. Got him. That's cute. <laughs> Three, four. We'll probably get up. Oh, maybe not. Oh, sometimes. Yay! Yay! You want to do the next round? No. Okay. I'll play the next game. Next one you're fighting is Shit Pickle. Shit Pickle. First appeared in <laughs> Master Chew and the Drunkard Who and Hugh. Fight location is Pickle Street. Oh, he's got a shadow. He's floaty. Oh, that's Very so funny. Very cool. Nice how it really looks like an AVGN character. Yeah, they did an amazing job in the graphics on here uh, with a two color characters. He's uh, good at just kind of walking away from you. Mm -hmm. So maybe you have to go after him and hit him when his... Oh, his guard goes down after he yeah. stops moving. There you go. Go get him. No, you're... There you go. Get him. Get him. Nope. Oh, he got me after that. You have to wait till his guard goes down. Yeah, and usually there's tells when he's going to punch. Like he does something or yeah. looks a certain way. Get him. Left, right, left, right. Oh, well, you, you only get a couple in. in. Yeah. Go get him. Too late. Go get him. I don't know. Am I supposed to? Yeah, he's just sitting there oh. waiting. You're supposed to dodge it. Go get him. Oh, oh, many more punches. A couple more. Oh, no. You've got 20 seconds. Go get him now. Is that it? He's going to stop. I know. There. Get him. One more. One more. Yay. Oh, you didn't. Oh, no. One more. Oh, no. Ran out of time. That's uh, okay. I did well. Pickle Simple Rick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want a more modern twist on it. You can get him this time. He has less energy now. Yeah. Just follow him close by so you can get right in on him. There. Only three. Oh, you only get on three in. And then I'll, he usually tries to hit you right after, but not this time. Oh. And then I'll do another one. No. Nope. To get close. No, there I don't go. know. More. I think you have Yay. to do it after he, get, the after he hits twice. I don't know. Maybe. I think he'll stay down. You think so? Mm, oh, no. Oh, oh, yep. Yay. Round three. <laughs> cool. 
This one's Jason. First appeared Friday the 13th. Fight location, nerds game room at night. <laughs> oh, wow. There's 11? No. 10. 10 characters. We moves fast. Ooh. Or faster. He laughs and then dodges and punch. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, a flurry of punches. Now get him. No, he's dot. He's he's. Oh, he's blocking. Oh, now you'd get him. I see him. But you're way too far away. Oh, I got him once. Oh, is that it? You were missing. You were like hitting beside his head. You have to watch where your character is in relation to him. Yeah. Jason Voorhees. Yes. But for uh, copyright purposes, oh, no. it's just Jason. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Just gonna do a flurry of punches, so I'm not sure to block. Can and you no. block him? Yep, button it up. Or dodge. Oh, this is terrible. Oh. oh! There you go. There you go, you got some in on him. He's gonna, he's gonna knock me out soon. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll probably time out before he does that. Oh, move, 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 move. Button it up to, to block. There, again. Again. There you go. Three. Oh, you oh. just barely survived. RC70, I remember renting Friday the 13th for NES from Blockbuster, not being able to sleep the whole weekend. The game was intense for an NES game. Mm -hmm. I remember them uh, playing it on AVGN, the Friday the 13th for NES, and it was they were getting very frustrated with it because it's not a super straightforward game. And, oh, the problem was the way your character moved around the map, it wasn't left wasn't always left. Left was was always clockwise. So even though, though the screen flipped, you're still going clockwise. So sometimes you would have to move right when you think you have to move left. And that was what was infuriating them. Oh, he, you have to be right in front of him when he does it. Yeah. So I would stick very close by him. Like you're supposed to be punching him right now. I don't know because it, he just seems to punch. Like I don't seem to get any hits on when I when I try to punch him like that. Or I'm not guarding. I mean, that's a thing. That's what I... Not a big... Oh, see? Yeah, too late. I would stay much closer to him. Just off to the side of here. Can you punch the stomach? No, it's just a left or right punch in this game. They could have done button and down, because that is block as well as up and... Maybe there's two blocks? I don't know. Oh, got a bunch oh, of punches yeah. in there. That wasn't a very good day. Is that third round? Uh, I think it's just the second round. Press button. Yeah, you're right, it is. Third round now. Ugh. I think it's just three Ugh. rounds in this game. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not, like, guarding the way I should be. No, you're not. You're just moving out of the way. You're not ducking or guarding well, at all. Well, because I find, uh, yeah, I just, I just find it. It, um, because if you're ducking or blocking, it lifts, lets you, um, get a hit right away back. Yeah, and that's, that's what I'm finding awkward. Oh, I thought the mask was protecting him. That would be, that would make sense, yeah. That you could only do stomach punches, but, you know, there's only left and right punch in this game. Because there's only one button, you only have so many moves. But they could have done a general... Oh, he only punches from one direction. minute left. Oh, his tell is that his eyes glow red before yeah. he punches. Not that he punches really fast. So you don't even need the red eyes to, to know that he's punching. Oh, you might 
get him. It's third. Oh, you only need like three more punches. I know, but he. I'm like one punch away from dying. You've got 15 seconds. Yeah, unless he gives me an opening. No, he won that round. Yep. I think it'll be declared for him. Yeah. They're deliberating. <laughs> mm. Oh. Boo. Got all Japanese sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rematch. rematch. Oh, you get another yeah, rematch. Yeah, you can go. You can play. Well, I'm going to reset. Oh, okay. So I guess if you're not knocked out, you get a rematch? Or it always. Just it's a, just you a always continue. get a rematch. It's uh, like a continue. It's a continue. You can't hit him when the eyes are red. Oh, no, okay. but it, it's the tell to, that he's about to punch. So. Yeah. I like that they make the angry video game nerd the easiest. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. You'd think he'd be like the last one mm. that you have to hit. Who's the last one? Mike Mateo. <laughs> I, oh, I didn't want. Mm. Do you want me to say who the... Um... Oh, sure. Go through all the... Yeah. I don't know if we'll get through them all, so... Oh, no. I'll, maybe I'll get up to five. Yes. So oh, got we've got up. Angry Video Game Nerd, Shit Pickle, Jason, Nerdy Turd, Franken Nerd, Bugs, Dracula Nerd, Kyle Justin, Joker, Super Nerd. Nice. Super Nerd. Oh, is the last, returns. last one. Oh, well, no, okay. they're all nerds. Dracula Nerd, Franken Nerd. Like, there's oh, a bunch okay. of them. Oh, Funny. I see. Yeah. There's three pages? There's 15? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Sorry. 10. There's yeah. 10. Yeah. So, number one's done. Defeated the easy guy. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh. You have to get out of the way. <laughs> I know. Oh, he's. He hits really fast sometimes. You're actually doing worse than I was. I know. <laughs> just, yeah, you kind of... I think he... You just get him right at the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, because it's a it's a powerful punch. I can't hit him. Yeah. Now he, now he pauses, and you can hit him at the end. Yeah. Oh, no. Should I turn on a turbo? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can. Yeah, you just have to kind of get in there. There we go. You, know, you can only get three shots in on that one, but... Yeah. I only needed three. I think I'm just going for a general block rather than a dodge. Mm. Maybe. Oh, you got back up at nine. Wow. Oh no, you gotta dodge him. Uh, you can't block him. Yep. Oh, can. can you? Yep. Oh. Oh, no. oh he's gonna go. There you go. One more? No. no. I think you only get three in. Oh, First round. So close. More wine, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Round two. Oh, I got my energy back up. That's good. Cool. Oh my god. Wasted immediately. Oh. There we go. I think he'll stay down now. It's my second knockdown on him. Nine, nine. Second one defeated. Time for Jason. So 
RC70 says you can't hit them when the eyes are red, so let's go for some blocking here. Hi, Tari. Just gonna. Nope, can't hit him. Ooh, that's bad. Oh my god. Yeah, you have, to get, you have to get right in there. His, his head comes up, kind of. Yeah, I know. I told you. <laughs> trying to... Yeah, it's hard to hit him. You yeah, to... it is. It's really hard to hit him. Yeah. And you, and you really have to dodge his arms. Or dodge, or hit the guard. Great cat. Pop on me. There we go. There's the great cats. Hi, buddy. Just missed him. But you won that round, it seems. No, you can hit him when his eyes are red. You just have to get him at the right. Yeah, I barely won that mm. round. Oh. Oh, just put his guard down. <laughs> just came up to me and put his guard down. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Like, okay. side and then the third one and I think that's when you hit him. Mm -hmm. One, the, the right, the left, then the left, then the right, now hit him. There yeah. you go. Yeah. It's triple so he does have a pattern. Three. I don't know if he'll stay down though. That's only the no, first no. one down. So you, you got it him. gets harder as you go on through the game. Oh no, he's back up. The right again, and then the left. And then now you hit. There you go. Right. I think he hits three times, and then you. That seems to be the pattern. Oh my god! That's stupid. And then the right. There you, you can go. Just keep blocking forever. Yeah. It's pretty easy. You just have to do it once you've been hit once. You have to do it again, right? Yep. There you go. Oh, that's easy. That's then. much faster. Yeah. You can just block. Yeah. See how he punched and his eyes turned gray the last time? Oh, I, think that's I didn't when you notice can hit that. Them. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I've defeated him, so that'll be for next time. Yeah. But you figure out the patterns as you play and watch, so. That's what this whole game's about. Yeah. So what is this taking off of with the, the clear figure? Because didn't we watch something all about Punch-Out and how yep. it evolved through the different systems and games? Yep. And the original one, he was like a little... A little guy. A little figure. Well, he's a, little a transparent guy. figure. Oh, in the arcade, he's a transparent figure? Yeah. In uh, NES, yeah. he's a tiny guy, so he stays out of the way because he's so mm. tiny. So who's this dude called? Turd nerd. Oh. Or nerd turd, one or the other. Oh, big one. Yeah, you can't... Oh. Uh, so can't block that one. It goes one, two, three, and big one. Oh. Get out of the way! Uh, oh. He's blocking. I don't know either. Probably have to dodge him. He's blocking. Oh. Get out of the way. What's happening? My strength is going down. Why did your strength go down? It went down to nothing. He like drained it. It's like a vampire. Now I'm like going to die in one hit. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, get out of the way for the left. There you go, now hit him. No, no. Oh, I have to dodge that one and then hit him immediately. Yeah, I think you're right. Dodge, all right, block, block, block. Block, dodge. Yep, yeah. 
That's how you do it. Unfortunately, I have no energy left. <sighs> How do you dodge? Press the button. Oh, just left or right. Oh, that's it. Well, I'm straining no you again. Left, so, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> wow. I can't figure out how to use the ball and other objects to get all that detail. Um, like the two graphics there? What he's done is used, I believe, one player for the main graphics mm -hmm. and made it transparent in places and put the ball in behind. So anywhere it's transparent, it shows through the ball and the ball is like four or eight wide. Um, so you see where his, let's say the eyes, um, the eyes are yellow. Let's say, let's use player zero for the eyes. And then use the ball as black through the transparencies and then gray through the transparencies on the mm -hmm. top of his eyes. And that's how you can, you don't have to make the ball two parts. You just have to make um, the player's character transparent and put the ball in behind. Mm -hmm. I've never made an Atari game in my I life. I know, but you know a lot about it. <laughs> but it's, it's. You're, you're looking at how they would, how yeah. they would resolve that. Because I'm really interested in how they make games. And I mean, I have a million ideas for making games, but I just haven't had the time yet. Mm -hmm. Nine. I just came up with another game last night. Oh, I just oh, I tried to dodge that. Oh, just make it given an open. Really awesome game last night, actually. Oh, oh you can punch him during that time to oh, knock him out of it. That, that makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. Block, block. Get out of the way. Dodge. Okay, this guy's pretty easy once you know his pattern now. Yeah. Now that I know it. Okay. Get him. There we go. Yeah. Terry says. Your boxer good job. is one player, eight bit double wide pixels. Yes. Yeah, because they are kind of chunky. Mm -hmm. You can see they're too wide, too yes. wide, too wide, too wide. Yeah. And that's how you can get it that nice. that big. I mean, obviously, you can go into Stella's debug mode, or it's not debug mode, it's that reveal mode. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice looking character. So big for a 2600. Mm -hmm. Franken nerd. So he goes on. S oh, now what am I going to do? Okay. Oh, Block. Red. Block. Ooh. Dodge. Oh. I tried to. I know. I'll get it. Block. 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 Dodge. Dodge. Good job. I don't know what's going on. It's gonna charge me. Now what do I do? Go out of the way? Can you move left and right? No, he's gonna come. He's blocking. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just one big one. So I just block. get out of the way for of the the yellow uh, punch. Block. 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 Dodge. Dodge. Block. Dodge. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Block. Ugh. Keep dodging. Guard and dodge. Block. Block. And dodge. dodge. Hit, 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 hit. I don't know if I have enough time. Block. Guard. Dodge. Hit him. Get 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 him. One more. Uh oh. It's gonna come after you. Debug colors. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it makes it so much simpler to to kind of figure it out. So you look at really complex games like this, mm. graphically complex, and you can take them into Stella, mm. and it'll tell you where it used the ball, where it oh, used the player. Really? Yeah. It's so good. Oh no. What did I do? I think I blocked and then dodged. Block. 
lot. No, nope, no, you have to just dodge. His oh my god! Stop it. Whenever it's yellow, you have to dodge. Oh, it's yes. gonna kill you. Okay. Yeah. So I'll do that. Come on at me. Come on at me. Going down. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Stella object coloring feature finally revealed to me why some time in the Sword of Adventure you wouldn't kill dragons while another object was on the screen. Mm -hmm. Did I make it? Oh, I just barely did. Yeah, it seems like in later levels he does more of that power. Just get out of his way. You can't hit him. Oh, that's easy then. He slowly comes towards you. He's not doing the, the hit, hit, and power hit. Come on, do something. I'm not going to get up. Come on. Come on. I only got hit once. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, you have, like, nothing left. Yeah. Oh, and, and done. done. But, I'm, but I, get a <laughs> I get a rematch. TKO. Knock me down three times in a row. Rematch! Yeah, now I'm going to get you. <laughs> I know your pattern now. Now, if I can counteract his pattern, that's something else. Got that one. I think I figured out that one. That's no problem. I just have to wait for the yellow. Move away from him. Hang of it now. Yeah. There we go. One more. One more. What? Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Ten seconds. Seven. Hurry up. Oh, so close. Uh, if it goes to judgment, I'll get it. Look at my health. Yeah, at least his won't come back up his health, which is a good thing. This game is much more forgiving than um, like uh, Punch Out. Punch Out, yeah. Because if you blocked, it goes down almost immediately. Mm. This, it just stays for a long time. Like the dodging, too. It stays for so long. Mm. Much more forgiving. Mm. Yay! Yeah. Finally knocked him down. Some characters in Punch Out, if you get them down, they never get back up because mm. they're so big. Oh, this guy might not get back up because mm. he's just too big. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Woo! What's the next guy? Well, I already in it and named I them forgot. all. Forgot. Am I on sixth? Oh, Bugs Bunny. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're on six. Six? Five more to go. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's fast. That makes sense. Oof. Oh, is that a normal punch? I don't know. Oh. Yellow is always bad. One, two, dodge. Oh, oh I baby. Could, I was too far over. One, two, dodge. He's 
He's fast. Really fast. One, two, and dodge. There you go. Sorry. Oh, more punches. There we go. One, oh, so two, fast. and dodge. Oh, I got him. Just oh, my dodge. goodness. Will I get some health back? I think I get a little bit of health back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was angry. I don't, I don't get any. Okay. I'm going to block immediately. Oh, I wasn't far enough over. Now I get health back. It's weird that you get health back when you get knocked down. Yeah. But you don't get health back when you go back and kind of rest a bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh he's, it's going to be a big tag. Oh. oh, he comes in and punches you. Wow. Get out of the way. Run to the side. There you go. Oh. Run, 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 Move to the side. There you go. Yeah, but you don't get a counter attack, though. Um, if you move too far away. Yeah, but I don't think you... Did you get a counter attack anyway? I did one time. Oh, you're down for good now. I think so. Oh, no. Oh. Three minutes. But I got up. You did. It's a dodge block. The dodge block length is so long it feels like one of those old Tiger Vision LCD <laughs> games. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like it's... Oh, it's so fast. You have to kind of block before he even throws it in this one. It's so fast. Oh, I know he's not going to stay down. He's too spry. Mm -hmm. Angry. That's a second. Not in a, but yeah. in a different round, though, so it doesn't even matter. No hits left. You have no hits left. And I won't get any back. Stay down. Stay down, bugs. Stay down. No. no. Oh, no. No, that's not right. Get him, 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 get him. Get him. Oh, one more. Oh, no, watch out. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is too hard. I'm just going to avoid it. Just get out of the way. Yep. Run. Okay, do your normal thing. Nice. Three in a Woo. round. Good job. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Vampire nerd? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the attack way. immediately. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Dodge anything. You can't move or anything. You probably just have to move out of the way before he comes in. That's a terrible, unfair move. You have to punch him now. I don't think so. Really? His eyes go red and then he attacks you. I think you have to get away from him when he does that. Oh! Move, run. Run on the way! <laughs> what the hell? What do I do? Oh do no! you block him? Oh, that doesn't kill me. No. It only drains me just like the other guy. Can you not get out of the way? Block? I just blocked. He didn't do anything. I'm gonna... Can you but hit him when he comes forward? That's maybe what I have to do. Let's see. Just run out of the way. No? Yeah, yep. there you go. You just gotta hit him. Now he's gonna try and hit you. But he can't kill me. That's kind of weird. He gets his health back. Oh, okay. Stop it. Oh. Oh. And then, of course, he delivers one blow and you're down. Interesting. 
Mm-hmm. Very interesting type. Any gar garlic cloves? Garlic gloves. gloves. Ah, that'd be nice. That would be good. No, I don't think I do have any garlic gloves. He's gonna go after you. Yep. So you have to hit him before he gets there. Oh, you hit him from the wrong side. Yep, I did. Stop it! Stop it! Yay. You just have to time it properly. hits on if he's going to drain you. Yay, figured it out. Just sucks if he, if he... Two, three, dodge. Uh -oh. It's not easy to do this. Yeah. Got it. God. Stay down! <laughs> Stay down! Oh, he shakes his head. of it. Give him nothing. Yay! Easy. Easy peasy. Easy. You just move to the right, then punch to the left. Yep. Figuring it out. Yep. I got nowhere in Mike Tyson's punch out. Oh, really? It's so hard. Yeah. This, I was oh. like, okay, I can, I can, I can figure it out. You didn't make it as, as hard as that. That's no. Sure. You have a, well, this is level one. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm playing easy kids level. You're playing, you're playing learn how to play level. <laughs> yes, yeah. That is true. Yeah. Uh, can you tap the button between rounds to get a little bit more energy back? Oh, I'll have to try that. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> But I will try that next time, because I think I'm pretty high up. Oh, what? Oh, we're going to be not visible for a second? <laughs> Why is that so high? This must not have been working. Do you have the thing up? No. That might have been why. Yeah. Is it hot? It's kind of hot. Is the, is the screen open on the back? It might not have turned it off. There we go. It, but is the screen open on the back? It is now. Okay. It wasn't. Okay. Let's get that back going. <laughs> Hello. There we go. We're back in it. And you can see That's our pretty shame. faces again. It only, <laughs> it only went out for 10 seconds. Okay, who's this? Mike, oh no, this is here, the musician friend of his. Kyle Justin? Kyle Justin. Uh oh. Bumping around. Oh, I just have to dodge it. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. That's like a move right out of Punch Out. Dodge. Yep. There you go. That's the guy with the tiger. Mm. Tiger's move. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, he's so fast. Oh my god. His eyes go crazy though. 
Oh my god. Not a good round whatsoever. <laughs> but I have no idea how he does his he does his move. Come on. Well his eyes go before he starts hitting with the reds. That's pretty easy. Yeah. He just jumps around and then throws a yellow. Throws a yellow. And then his it's team, so fast. But though. his eyes go yellow and then you have to block. It's you have so to fast. guard immediately. Yeah. What level is this? Is it eight? You're not pushing your button? No. No, I'm dead. I'll get to wow. continue again. Rematch? A rematch? Yes. Is this level okay, eight? They changed the background. Uh, s yes. Yeah. It's level okay. Eight. Three more to go. I don't know if I'll Including make it. Including this one. That's <laughs> oh, okay. Do we have another game to play, don't we? Yeah. Pattern recognition. I like these. This one's easy. Then block. Oh, you have to dodge. Guard. No, 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 no he, he spins his hands. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good job. This guy's the first one that's kind of a little unpredictable. Mm -hmm. He doesn't completely have a pattern. Mm. Oof. Oof. Just happened to move out of the way on that one. Mm. Really strong punches. Really strong punches. That's my first going down. This is his second. Will he stay down? If he doesn't, he goes to another round. Nope. No. Oh, you're right at the end. He has quite a bit of health. Yep. Yep. He won that one. Or did he? No, he went down yep. twice. He went down twice. Oh, what? I started already. Missed hit the button. Oh, uh, and dodge. Oh, there you go. Just barely didn't dodge that one. Dodge. Okay. His, his hits are completely random. Yeah, they yeah, are. They are. When he when he gets his, his yellow eyes, yellow eyes, always jumping around now. I don't mind these ones. He gives them lots of time. Yeah. He telegraphs that one quite a bit. Yay! Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Stay down. No, you don't get any help back. Not at all. And this guy, I think I have to hit him. I have to get him down. Oh, no way. wrong way. Damn it. Mm. Come on. Oh. This is the end. I've rematched that guy already, haven't I? Mm -hmm. I think I get to go up one more time. But I still won't win. Good job. Stressful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is stressful. <laughs> really stressful. He won't stay down. No. Nope. I'm not going to win. I don't know. I've gone down quite a few times. Come on, judges. Give it to me. Do I press one? Oh, there's another round. 
It's round three. Oh. oh no, we get way too much health. Cheater. He is dirty, a cheater. Dirty, dirty cheater. Watch. Um, there you go. Get him on the ropes. Might as well. Oh, Damn it. Oh, you have to, direction. You have to wait until he pauses. Yeah. No, I think you're down. Oh, no. oh. Just. Oh, you have so little health left. Oh, babies. Oh, oh babies! No. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm making oh. up. Use a turbo! 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 <laughs> is that actually turbo. working? Oh, it oh, is. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have nothing left. Yeah. One hit, you're down. Get him down, get him down, get him down! I don't think he's gonna... No? It might help getting him down one more time in the decision. Mm, I nope. don't know how it makes the decisions, though. Oh, no. Watch out, watch whoa, out. Whoa, whoa. Another way. No health left. Nope. Just went... Oh. Oh, no. Turbo! Turbo... No. No. You got me three times. The enemy's face is single wide. The body's double wide because it gets chunkier as it goes out. That's what's throwing me. It's a rare trick. Mm. Yeah, because you change how wide it is in between the lines. Mm. And you can do from double to single to quadruple if you mm. need to. A really long line. Like a fishing pole or something. Yeah. Oh, it's the end. Oh. You only get three rematches. I already rematched him. You only or get two. One, two. one per person. Oh, one per person. That makes sense. Yeah. Not bad. No. Not bad at all. Well, you, for we my got first to see... game. Good thing we were playing at level one because we got to see a fair number of the, uh, the opponents. Yeah. So. That's a good yeah. game for a full episode. Like yeah. To, to yeah. do a full run of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's load up the next one. Press the button. And the next one is I supposed to's game. DK Arcade? Yes. DK Arcade 2600. I suppose says, good game. I didn't realize it was that very. D neither did I. Some of these games, you don't realize how good they are until you actually really get into them. Yeah, this one, it, it had to flip over because it wasn't used to the number of lines that this mm. uh, game has. Because um, I suppose this uh, game has a lot of lines. Like okay. 300 and something, I think. Um, so, obviously, this is Donkey Kong. It's not Donkey Kong. It's DK Arcade. Whatever that could be. <laughs> um, this is a 2019 work in progress update. This build is from about three weeks ago. Yeah, let it hit the uh, hammer, not your head. Um, he first posted about this game in August 26, 2013. So this is uh, almost six years in progress. It's uh, co-made by Todd Holcomb, who is also known as Bite Knight as well. Um, uh, I suppose his other games are 2000, uh, 2600 Christmas 2012, Astro Blaster ab Abandoned Game, DK RK 2600, Flappy Food Fight Proof of Concept, Hubert Mockup, Satan's Hollow Proof of Concept, Stunt Cycle, Tempest Mockup, as well as a number of hacks and conversions with tons of music and sound contributions to games including Mappy, Draconian, and Wizard of War. He is the master of music and sound. Um, so, some updates to this game. Uh, this is release candidate number one, so he's uh, getting close to finishing the game. Uh, I've decided to share DK Arcade 2600 and post the release candidate. This item, this sound has, this has sound, item, color differences, along with a fixed kernel that should eliminate any flashing ghost playfield pixels. And uh, I haven't seen any since I did some testing on uh, Stella. Uh, that appear when nearly cycle maximum and 
that has some that has some machines were displaying that some machines were displaying the latest batari basic version for rev engine rev engine's ref rev engine is thread has this fixed kernel reply in this thread any comments and suggestions they are all considered no matter good or bad or not possible to include thank you it is also decided by me blah, 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 blah. Um, this is my first designed game, both because I like the game and I like the challenge. I wanted to so show that very good games could be made in Batari Basic DPC Plus kernel. And this is a very, very advanced game for... that. That's one big change. <laughs> As you noticed, you're jumping. Oh, yeah. You can move anywhere you want in the air. Mm. In the original Donkey Kong, it's no. It's oh, yeah, possible. you're... You, you're, you're yeah. a fixed jump. You're a fixed jump. Um, so this also has, um, you can play as, um, what is her name? Oh, uh, ooh. Oh, man. Japanese. Yeah, you can play the Japanese order or the American order of the game as well. Okay. I have not played much of this game so far. Is it Polly? Paulina. Paulina? Pauline? Pauline. I Pauline. think it's Pauline. Yeah, so when you jump, you can go, wee. Yeah, that is not far part of the original game. But... It does make it, it more fun. It does make it a lot more fun and more modern. Oh, God. <laughs> because modern games have that sensibility that you can jump anywhere you want. At any time. Come on. Give me a barrel break. Just waiting for one to go down that first first ladder there. There we go. Very, very, very good conversion of Donkey Kong. Yeah. Some other ones didn't have the slope. It was just flat. Mm -hmm. So this is one, the lady, how you supposed to say mm -hmm. <laughs> in quotes. It's also very handy for this level, having that jump back so you don't have to mm. jump over clear it. Ha ha ha. Oh. Or fall to your death. <laughs> and get caught by That's an enemy awesome. on the way down. And very good uh, mm -hmm. Donkey Kong graphics. Very good Donkey Interstitials. Cards. Something about that sound. Is so sad. It's so iconic. Yeah. What are you doing? I have to clear up the other side. Oh, you do? Yep. Oh. The other side. But I have to avoid those guys at the same time. Oh, oh my goodness. Getting Maybe. cornered. Getting cornered badly. Hammer, maybe, no. depending if somebody comes up in the meantime. Nope! They went down. Yay! And get air jump. <laughs> Moving during jump makes it easier, but overall it's still difficult. Yes, it is. I called the Woody Woodpecker sound. <laughs> Couldn't get it right for the longest time. You got it spot on. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Just, it's so reminiscent of that game. Oh, yeah, in the American, you go back to the first level again. Oh, okay. And I think in the Japanese, you go through all four first. Oh, I see. Oh, boy. Maybe once. Yep, I think I'll just avoid them. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes it's a very sound approach. Oh, there we go. Cleared away from me. Mm -hmm. That's perfect sound, too. Like, all the sounds in this? Really Dead good. on. Yeah, As yeah. they should be. As they should be. <laughs> With Ice Post on the helm. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's a great, I love that sound. What's the umbrella for? Bonus. Oh. Bonus points. <laughs> and you're rescuing Mario in this version. That's very cute. I like that. Ground Trooper says, gotta run. An unexpected family showed up in town. Oh, unexpected family. Yeah. <laughs> Wanted to meet for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, have fun with, uh, Darn with that the dinner. Unexpected family. Oh, the in laws. <laughs> They're or, coming. They're coming. Or your own family. Yeah. Well, have a good dinner. Mm -hmm. I'll get this. Nice. Because we haven't shown the hammer killing things yet. I have. Killing things. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Breaking barrels. I've broken some barrels. Ugh, yeah, perfect. Just in time to not. Uh, uh, <laughs> there we go. One more. Ooh. And to your death, Donkey Kong. <laughs> On your head. Oh, love. And very good. Just great graphics overall, mm -hmm. and he extended the vertical um, Reach number of lines. Oh, I see. Um, so that he could represent the game in, in its proper form. Yeah. And to get those angles and to get yeah, the full maps. Yeah, because it is a really long because play it's, field. Because like, it's an arcade game, and yeah. a lot of the early arcade games were very vertical. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of them. Which is kind of strange. It is kind of strange. It's almost like they had. Um, it's like let's make something different than television. Like the I guess. The, the full screen or wide screen or whatever it is, like monitors back then. They just inverted sideways. Them. Yeah. They did. Yeah. I guess they figured that you know action goes up rather than left and right. I guess. Yeah. The rivet level, you can climb the ladder left off center and get the hammer. Then it sticks. Mm. I'll try that in the rivet level. Oh, I think I climbed up too slow. No, I got it. Oh, no animated fire on this. Are there animated fire in the first I don't know. level? Are there, do those things kill you? Yes, they do. Everything. Oh. Everything kills you. Everything. Those things kill you. Oh. Ah. Oh, they look like pies. What yeah. are they supposed to be? Um, I th think they are pies. The pie factory? Mm. Burning oil barrel. Don't come down here, please. This one's just annoying. Oh! oh. Yeah. Went for you. Gave eight more lines visible. Mm. Work it worked without that, but the flicker at the top was even worse. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Got a path. I love all these, um... Ugh. Oh no, so close! Too slow. The end. Oh, sadness. Pauline's down at the bottom. Or the lady. The lady. Oh! Am I supposed to... <laughs> what is happening? Pix! Atari! Atari! Okay, you, we need to put a treat... Oh, it resets eventually. Uh, okay. good. We need to put a treat Let's on the uh, restart game. Do that one. Do you want to play again? No, no. Okay. No, it's fine. I'm not very good at this game, so... Sometimes I just like to watch you play. Oh, the, the barrel's animated on this level. Yeah, 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 are, yeah, it are was. You supposed to, are you going to add the animation on the pie level as well? It wasn't animated? No, it was just static. Maybe there's too much on screen. Could be. All the pies going back and forth? There's a lot of pies. You don't kill yourself when you hit your head on the barrels here. Uh, uh yeah, no, you do. Watch. You do. Oh! Well, when it falls and hits you on the level. And I'm pretty sure the original game you oh, do. Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? Also in the original game, there's fireballs that come out of that oil barrel, too. So there's there's a lot of differences. But I don't think he was going for arcade perfect. That was pretty perfect. It's really, really good. It is really good. Because, I mean, if he was going for arcade perfect, this wouldn't be happening, right? Like, mid-air <laughs> jumping. Like, ha, ha. <laughs> ah, barrels, you can't hurt my head. There we go. Did I this is miles, miles better than the original release. Like, it's not even, mm. not even close. Mm. The original one is terrible. Mm. Terrible, and doesn't include all the levels. That's one of the big... Pies! Oh, many squished pies. Oh, let's just keep going to the right. Come on. Let's just do it here. It's 
so that I know when the pot is coming. Oh no, there's a dude up there. Oh. The pie's coming! Oh. And the fireball's coming! Arena Foot, you made it! <laughs> the last, very last second, but yeah. you did make it. Hello, Arena. Mm -hmm. oh, good. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna finally finish this level. Wait for it. Let it go back up again. Yay! Yay! Fireballs are animated on the pie and rivets level. Oh, okay. Not the fireballs, the barrel, the burning barrel. Spring level? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, you get squished! Yeah, I got squished. Oh, no. Squished in the head. Oh. No, she never jumped from there. One more go. Play as Pauline. And in the original... Oh, you do die. Good. <laughs> You're like, in the original... Oh, wait, yes, no, this one. But he didn't make these. You, can, you can't climb these halfway. In the original one, you can. Not that you would. It's pointless, but... But they just indicate the areas the barrels can fall down. Yes. That's important. I'm just going to die because I did terrible. Yeah, because you ran into the... <laughs> I ran into the barrel on purpose. On purpose, yeah. There Do you we. only get three lives? Yep. Wow. It is not an easy game. Oh, no. It, it is... just reminds me of that King of Kong documentary. Of Every course. time I see King Kong now. Donkey Kong. Or Donkey Kong, sorry. Ah, don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> ah, ah. Ah, he went ah. right for you. Also, you can climb up the side of the ladder still, I think. Mm. Some places. I did do it just before I died there. Oh no, it's not working there. Uh oh. Two barrels! There we go. Arena Foot apparently had some chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> very nice. That is something I that don't like. Very lovely. Yeah, no, you don't. I, I think they're lovely, but. I love chocolate. I love strawberries. Just not together. Together, they make a deadly combination. For me. <laughs> that, I don't know what it is. I, I haven't you don't like found... any fruit and chocolate, so. Yeah, the sour it's and the, the sweet. Acidity. It's the, the acidity, acidity, I think, like, you don't like. blends yeah. funny for Like me. orange and chocolate, you don't like? Nothing. You, you would never eat a Terry's chocolate no, orange? No, no. I just never find never. that so strange. Never, it's terrible. Yeah. Hits my you taste don't buds. even really like mint and chocolate that much. It's okay. That's like it doesn't have the tolerable. But but I think you just like you're a purist when it comes to chocolate. You like your chocolate. I like nuts. Chocolate. Yes, so that's like true. You like nuts, yeah. Like well, not savory. It's not that it's savory. It's, well, it's not just sweet. Well, chocolate's sweet, so. No, I mean the the nuts. Yeah, but you don't like salted chocolate, like salted caramel oh, chocolate no, or something. Don't. You don't like that no, either, no. so. So you're just very picky when it comes to the chocolates. <laughs> what I blend with my chocolate. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but a flat of ponchula strawberries. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna go <laughs> and look that up uh, once this this game is over because that sounds really that sounds fancy. Whatever it is. Yeah. Yum. Uh, yeah, strawberries are good. I love this time of year when all the oh, good food is coming out. Asparagus fruit. and strawberries. Yeah, asparagus is good too. Oh, there I am. Hitting an asparagus. Climbing on the side of the ladder with one arm. Yay! <laughs> Oof, shouldn't stand that close. Nope. Not enough time. I always wonder if you get more points by just standing, jumping barrels. No, because you lose points as time goes down. Yeah, there's bonus, right? But I guess the bonus is worth less. The bonus is worth more than what you get from the barrels. No, you're not getting points from the barrels. Oh. Your your score is, is... In the game, you, do. you get 100 or something. In the real game. It's just oh, not, in the real game? Well, this one, the score, score. Is, is, is going downwards. That's just the bonus. It's not actually displaying the score. There's oh, the score. I see, I see, I see, I see. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, Microsoft. Uh, 
<laughs> the computer forced an update. Our, our <laughs> that's okay. Our chat. Uh, our so chat to, is over there. That's that. okay. It'll reboot. I never thought second. about that. That the chat can be there. But you don't see it going back very far. No, no, no. It's that's fine. the problem. It's fine. Oh, oh boy. Windows random Windows updates. Forced random Windows updates. Well, I think yeah. I kept. I think I I, I clicked the wrong thing last time because I I had said uh, delay for ten minutes. No, it didn't ask me to delay it. No? It was like, we had, there's a Windows update. Okay, or there's a Windows update. I'll deal with it later. Like, it was a really weird Press one. Power? No, it's, it's going to reboot. Oh, okay. It's restarting. It's all good. It's all good. Yay. Good. Yeah, I have to watch the patterns of where they bounce and when they don't bounce. Yeah. I don't know if he did it as detailed as the arcade, because I remember watching the documentary and he's yeah. drawing on the screen where the bounces are yeah and every third bounces somewhere a little bit different yeah he was like, he, oh he was like wow i mean it's like it's like Hello anything again. it's like the uh, guy who um uh, uh hacked uh press your luck mm. who who figured out the um the pattern the pattern the one, the one know, of 12 it's patterns all about patterns he also knew when to press the button too yeah You have to press uh, control, minus control minus a bunch. What? Control minus a bunch. Oh, no, no, I know. I, that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, okay. I just want to click on the chat. You know how to de de detach the chat? No. Okay, press the, the tool, little round thing. Mm -hmm. No, the round one, not the blind one. Oh, you mean the settings? Then pop up. Yeah, settings one. Pop out. Pop out. And maximize that, yeah, and yeah, control yeah. plus yeah, plus plus. Good. Oops, I died. Yeah, because you weren't... <laughs> not paying attention. And why are we back And pause it. <laughs> oh, we lost all the chat, but that's okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's all right. That's the problem. Yeah, you can't go across Donkey Kong at the top. Oh, no. He'll squish you. Susha? Ah! Oh, come on. Oh, it reappears. I'll smush ya. Yeah, the colors are great on this. The animation is great. The music is great. The level design. Everything's really, really good. So I, there are times when the line count goes out. No desync. Oh, does the line count uh, drop out every once? I did see some flicker in between levels, but not too often, and it doesn't disrupt the the stream, which is so it's not an extreme amount of um, line desynchronization, which is good. Good for me. Good for streaming. Ah, ah. Ah, Ooh, too hard. That's rough. There should be three different starting points for the spring springs. It's not in there. Right. Okay. He, he's, it's a lot of work. He's he's picking out all the little details. <laughs> but that's what people that's are what gonna. Happens. That's what yeah. people are gonna do. Yeah. No. When, when they play it well, and they're used to the arcade, they're well. like, oh, this isn't in it. This isn't in. Yeah. Then you have to say if, Atari Twenty Six Hundred. If you if you know the game as well, you know if if you're a super super Donkey Kong nerd, then yeah, you yeah. are gonna notice all those little things. Which I'm not. Yeah. I, I know the big things. Yeah. But not again. The, and the, the things you watched in the documentary. So. Yeah. That, I yeah. that was a great documentary. Oh, one yeah. of the best. King of Kong, if you've never seen it. Even if it was just... Yeah, oh, I'm it was sure very, everyone's very seen well it there. Done. I'm sure, I'm sure. It's, oh. it's, it's the right crowd. Glenn Larson on Pressure Lock. Yeah, if people haven't seen Glenn that, Larson. That, that documentary... Yeah, that's a really good documentary. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. really, really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's uh, really interesting. So let's go over the games today. Okay. Space Treat Deluxe. Very fun. Yes, I still w I, I'm still, still very sad we didn't get to the ice cream level, but that's okay. Who knows? Could have been level 98. Yeah, it could have been. <laughs> or 99. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's very colorful. Very fun. Ramps yeah, up pretty quick, though. it was quick, really good. Though. It ramps up quick, but mm -hmm. I can see I can see with a little practice, you know? No. Yeah, probably mm -hmm. maybe a little too quick between 2 and 3, but mm -hmm. it's not too bad, level 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. Backfire. I found that found that really hard, and mm. it's very difficult. Um, I think that needed to ramp up a little bit slower. Mm. 
I mean, these are all put out games. They're not going to do anything to them now, even if we complain about them or offer suggestions, not complain. We're not complaining. <laughs> they were all really fun games. Yeah. And they were all very, very different games too, actually. That's what I want to do every yeah. episode is try yeah. and have varied, like, oh, a shooter, a action, a platformer, a puzzle, or, you know. Backfire is just hard enough that you would get frustrated, but at the same time, the it's enough to push you forward to keep trying. Because it's hard. That's that, that seems a pretty hard game. You were doing oh, pretty the, well. The Donkey Kong was not exclusive. It was posted on the forums. I just um, have, haven't have included in the show. It was mid-March. Mm. So if you go back to the forums and take a look, it's tacked onto his already uh, thread there. Mm. Um, yeah, just a couple of changes. But good changes. Um, uh, AVGN KO Boxing. Awesome game. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. I really enjoyed it after I, playing I, for a while. I've never been a huge fan of those boxing games, but yeah. it seemed like I got through the first few levels without too much trouble on level one, mm -hmm. uh, which is good because some of those boxing games, they seem very frustrating. So I enjoyed it, and watching you play it was fun too because each level is very different, and you have to kind of figure out the strategy for each each, yeah. each individual. So, But it didn't seem too hard. I mean, at least the level one didn't seem too bad. So No. Yeah. And, and well done good good characters in it yeah and, great yeah. graphics like yeah. outstanding graphics yeah. in that game yeah. and movement and you know response everything everything's so good yeah. yeah does anybody know if that comes on a cartridge i i think it does does it and does it is it still for sale i'm, I'm pretty sure because i would actually from buy them or, or anybody from... i don't care anybody no but like are they making cartridges or is because it's 2009 yeah it's old so yeah Somebody might be selling it. I don't know. Okay. Interesting. James's art is nicer than my one-off cart. <laughs> All I did was... Oh! <laughs> you can see the, the artwork there. The Donkey Kong artwork. Um, and I put Mario on one side and Pauline on the other. Uh, yeah. Like when, whenever somebody doesn't have um, artwork for their cartridge... He just makes it up. <laughs> I, just, I just take it from the game and give it a nice background. and. Um, Feel free to use that artwork, I suppose, <laughs> if you want. If nobody wants to draw a cover for it. Yeah. Um, but uh, Arena Foot, do you know if AVGN KO Boxing was ever released on cart and if it is still for sale anywhere? Because I would definitely buy that one. Mm. Um, that's that would definitely. It's be a, it's a really good to game. buy list. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it works, but it's it probably works sold out well. and nobody's selling it anymore. Well, yeah, it probably it, was it probably sold for like a year. Ten years yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> and Donkey Kong. Uh, our DK Arcade 2600 to avoid um, trademark <laughs> copyright. DK Arcade. Yeah. Yep. Um, excellent. Really, really, really fun. Mm. Surpasses, obviously, the original. Mm -hmm. um, there are a number of other Donkey Kong um, ports, updates mm. done by other people. Um, I did do some ca comparisons, a comparison show a while back, but I can't remember how that turned out. I think the other one was really, really good as mm -hmm. well. Um, but this one is, is great. And as soon as he f fixes the, the minor things that I didn't even really find. Maybe the latter, but that's not really a problem. No. But everything everything totally works. Yeah. Yeah, so... No, it feels... I mean, to me, again, I'm not a huge... I, I don't play the real arcade version of Donkey Kong. But it, <laughs> it, it No, but it felt like... Donkey Kong to me, like, you mm -hmm. know, not picking too much at the details. It felt no. like a really good Donkey Kong game. Especially so. the graphics and sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, the sound is really, really good, yeah. yeah, yeah we could expect no it. less yeah. from I Supposed of yeah. course. <laughs> Mike Haas. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, I Supposed is asking for me. KO Boxing AVGN. Yeah. Um, Arena, uh, Arena Foot says he's, he's looking, looking it up. It up. Yeah. <laughs> So, great group of games. The only yeah. one that really frustrated us was Backfire. It's still amazing. I, I, it's I, yeah. just hard. I hard still kind of want to play it because, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's... It could... Enough time in it, I think you could get... Like, I was getting okay at the end, um, but I, I think it just ramps up too quick. And yeah. those UFOs wait, go zip by too fast. There's... But they have high rewards. There's something about games like that that have this real sort of abstract feel and look to them mm. that it just reminds me of of the Atari games like they're they're a little bit mm. abstract they're really hard yeah um yeah i don't know i don't know 
Well, because, well, Atari games look like Atari games because the way you have to program Atari games. Yeah. It's only certain people that are able to, like, break out of that mold and yeah. kind of use it in a different way and display things like Draconians, an eight-way flying space shooter. Like, yeah. it's crazy. It's totally different than anything yeah. before that. Um, but the traditional, you know, 4K and unassisted games... All oh, the color very, is vertical. Yeah, it's very blocky. It's usually a static um, screen. Yeah. Not a scrolling screen. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but it just it just has that Atari game feel to it. I don't know, and it's 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 quite a hard game. Yeah. Yeah. I like Not that. available anymore, from what I can tell. Yeah. Mm. Sadness. Other than for ROM. ROM yeah, yeah, you can play the ROM, which yeah. is great that you can still play. Oh, yeah. it. But yeah. the really really good games I like to have on a cartridge, just just to have it because mm. that's what i do it's a problem <laughs> really yeah there you go if anybody wants to download it arena foot has posted the link um, to download it um, not available anymore yeah that's no. not really surprising that's why stampede was amazing so it ahead of its time yeah that has yeah. a continuous scrolling screen mm. with multiple things all moving at different speeds mm. the little the little cows that you're trying to rope it's terrible but <laughs> like, they're fine. They're fine. You're you're rescuing them from danger, actually. Yeah. Oh, you were talking about games you really liked. What was the one with the shooter where you're like shooting things? You're following a Galaga. Maze. No. No, 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 no. It's like a guy with a hat and a um. And a gun. Yeah. And a hat and a gun and it's a maze. Yeah. What. Uh... It's, I need uh, more isn't detail. It cactuses? You're like, oh, Space Cactus Canyon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was fun. I that bought would be that. On my, that would be on my top ten because you're oh, talking really? about top ten. I thought that was a really cool game. It is a really good game. Sorry, I just went off on a tangent. I'm like, uh, <laughs> suddenly I had this of vision game. of a guy shooting cactuses. Yes. No, and you then are I'm like, a cactus. You're the cactus. Yes. Anyway. And you're trying to get water and get back to oh, your spaceship. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And I dur did earn my patch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space Cactus. Oh, there's another patch that I Sorry. couldn't get yet, and it's from a homebrew, and I should keep trying to get it. Okay. It's the um, one where you're observing stars, and you move. Oh, yeah. We played that very briefly. What is that called? Uh, I've only got 12, and you need 20 points it, to it get a patch. It looked quite challenging. It's yeah. really hard. Stargazer? Yeah. Stargazer. Is that it? I yeah. don't think it is. Astronomer. Yeah. Astronomer. See, that's why we have people in the that's chat. That's right. <laughs> Oh, and you can see RC7E has the three-month badge Woo! for people who joined us. Yes. And I suppose to has a six-month badge. Excellent. He's on his seven months. Yay. And RC7E is, is, is on four months. And so that's as a subscriber, so that's through the, the, um, Twitch, like the, the pr Prime, Twitch Prime. Yeah. Amazon Prime thing. Yeah. So it's free, free to do, so you yeah. can get those if you just You click. get to choose one stream that you get to subscribe to for free? One per month. One per month. One per month. Yeah. Yeah. So these people nice. have... Decided Aww. that we are worthy <laughs> to honor yeah. with their Prime account. Yeah. Mine's not through Prime. That's even more sacrifice on their end. Yes. Thank, thank you, you. RC70. Yeah. You can't tell. You can't tell yeah. through the interface, but we can tell if I look it up. I oh, can, I see. I can tell. Yeah. Oh, the I magic. Think I can tell. The magic, yeah. But yes, thank you so much. So yeah, you can also just hand over cash as well <laughs> and give a little bit to Twitch and a little bit to us. Yeah. It'll help. With my cartridge habit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lunk, Lunok. It will help with your development of these beautiful um, graphics. cartridge graphics. Really. That's right. That's, I, I wouldn't say <laughs> it's the artist. cartridge ha ha habit, but no. uh, you put a lot of time and effort, uh, just so you know, into a lot of the graphics that are used on this show. So. That's right. Yeah. I'm especially proud of the one last week, which was Katron. Mm. It was really good. Um... Let me load it up and show you. It's a very glowy one. There's last week's Katron. Yeah. Where I've got the words and it's like glowing like Tron. <laughs> and I used the b background yeah. of, of his game for yeah. it. Yeah. I like that one. Mm. Um, sometimes I do well, sometimes not. Arena Foot says, My bad, that's a link for the original AVGN game. The KO Boxing was not available oh, on cart? Oh, just download only. Really? Oh, wow. Oh. Well, then well, nobody got it on cart. Yeah. Andrew, angry video game nerd, you need to put it on cart. So maybe his agreement with them is like, you can make it, but you can't sell it. Yeah. Because sometimes it's like that. Mm. 
licensing because he did yeah because the artwork was done by mike matey oh cool on the cartridge okay yeah so he was talking with them okay so i guess they said yeah make the game just don't sell it give it away for free and we're all cool okay yeah that's cool yeah understandable Uh, yeah makes sense so uh next episode on wednesday we've got some pretty big games coming (sighs) we're gonna be uh we've got the exclusive debut of Spaceman Splorf for the Atari 2600. Spaceman um, Splorf. Okay. Yes. And it's like a sp- space asteroid dodging game. Really great music. Really great okay. graphics. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, actually, I need to put Premiere on there because I didn't. <laughs> World Premiere. Nobody's nobody's Ooh. played this before ever. Nice. People have seen video of it, but nobody's like actually played it on a stream yet. Okay. So we get exclusive World Premiere. Yes, it's a one-button game like Flappy oh, and okay. other games like that, Endless yeah, Runner. Yeah, yeah. It's more like Flappy. Okay. It's it's a thrust your space rocket guy up and down. Okay. Arena Foot's played it. There you go. One of the select few. <laughs> he has ins. Yeah. Um, but it's never been streamed. How about that? Um, and then we have uh, Spies in the Night 2, a big update on okay. Spies in the Night 2. Mm. Um, and that is downloadable. It's have not. you played Spies in the Night 2 before? Yes. Or just Spies in the Night, the first one? We did play Spies in the Night, but we played Spies in the Night 2 quite a while ago. Was that with me, or was that I with... I think it was with Erlen. Because I played one of them, but I, I don't recall original right one, now. I believe. Okay. This one, you pick doors, and there's multiple puzzles oh, no, that's to try out. I played. Okay, Some yeah. of them are very, very, very hard. Okay, cool. Um, and another game called Incoming, which is like tanks shooting each other oh cool um if you've ever played those kind of games where you and you can shoot the dirt it's like worms and it it k- kills away the dirt around your tank oh i don't think you can move your tank in this one oh just... and i supposed to did uh music, music for spies in Yay. the night too cool excellent i didn't have that on my uh, list yeah, i will have to play because that it's then. kind of brand new and i don't yeah. know if they mentioned that but that's excellent awesome um you might like it it's puzzly i like puzzle games puzzle action it's a puzzle action yeah. game. Uh, it's, it's hard. <laughs> Some of it's very, very challenging. Um, and one more unannounced game. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. Um, the next, on the next Friday with Darcy is going to be Warring Worms. The Worm Returns, as insisted by Ice Post. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good game. Yeah. I just didn't want to put it so close to the last episode because we already did. Um, like another version of the Worms? Or? Yeah, Katron. Which is kind of the same thing. I okay. just didn't, didn't want to do it so okay. close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he just contacted me today. Did Spies two two months ago. Did Music mm-hmm. for Spies. Awesome. Great job. That's mm-hmm. great. And uh, and then on May 1st, it's uh, Homebrew Tournament Round 2. And we'll be playing Minor 2049er. Mm-hmm. Which I remember didn't work on my system. So we might have to do emulation. Or I'm, and I'm actually going to be doing uh, some surgery on my six switcher this weekend, hopefully. Ooh. Um, That's it, dangerous. Yeah, it is very dangerous, <laughs> especially for a complete novice like me. Yeah. I am bridging two connectors on okay. the motherboard mm-hmm. um, because a lot... Of, yeah, cat reset mod. It'll be a little... Uh, <laughs> cat little, reset mod. little thing that, that the cats can climb in. <laughs> And there's a little treat, and I yeah. throw the treat you in throw there. Throw the treat in the it, bowl. And it presses and down. And then Atari's face start, starts the reset. I think that's brilliant. It's a great mod. I think that's brilliant. It's completely doable. You can yeah. do it. Yeah. That, um, that really ne- And that needs to be in the... Um, uh, in the, 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 the cat cam? The cat cam. Yeah. I think that would be <laughs> I should put cat uh, cam underneath there. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I'll do that for next show, too. Atari cat slash cam. cat cam. Yeah. Or Atari cam. It works both. It works both ways. There Atari we go. cat cam. Atari go. cat cam. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> there's Atari cat, and yeah. then there's an Atari. And then there's an Atari. And there's cats as well. Yeah. Two cats. Perfect. Um, so Dan AVC says yeah. emulation is allowed in the Harmony game, so that's good. Mm. Um, but anyway, back to the yeah. bridging. Where did we start? Yeah, okay. Of the two things yeah. inside the Atari. Yeah. Um, because um, toy, toy, what's that game called? That uh, Christmas game, the toy painting one. Do you remember it? You remember the game? Oh yes, yes, yes! I like that. What's game. What's it called? That's a really fun game. Toy Toy Shop Trouble. Gotcha. Does not work on my system. 
Oh, you were having trouble with also, it. Also, yeah. Frosty 2 does not work on my system. Oh. And there is a solution on the forums for six switchers saying, here's the solution to fix it so those games work. Okay. And what, and I, I remember playing those games like, what is going wrong? Luckily, I have Toy Shop Trouble mm. on binary, so I did that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And Stay Frosty 2 was also released as a bonus cartridge. Um, oh, and a okay. Christmas cartridge. Mm -hmm. So I was able to play it that way. Yeah. And and I think I have the binary as well. Um, but what this came about is when I was trying to do the Uno cart, trying to use the Uno cart on my six switcher, and it didn't work. It wasn't working at all. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, and we try, I was working with a developer of the Uno cart, and we, we just hit a brick wall. And I was like, well, I have no idea what to do. And then I, th then I remembered this somehow that those two games didn't work. Um, so I thought, well, maybe that is the issue. Because those didn't work, maybe this is that same kind of problem that's preventing this cartridge from working as well. Because the cartridge works. It works on my other, other uh, VCS systems sitting over there off camera. Mm -hmm. and, and I just tested it recently. And so I thought, oh, maybe that will fix this problem. Mm. And that'll be amazing because there's actually two games now that are being developed on this the Uno exclusively. Cart and not the Harmony Cart. Yeah, actually, yeah. the other game works on the Harmony Cart. Okay. Barely, and it crashes out. Oh. So it might fix that too. That'd be I don't nice. know. Yeah. Um, because it uses a very advanced, it uses the Encore part, mm. and that's the only game I've ever. Sorry, is, seen Encore come up on the screen? Is like a soldering iron coming yep, out? Yeah, it's just a soldering of two joints. That's it. I've got all the equipment. I've got all the wiring. I just solder two things together so they are a mm. jumper. I suppose it says he did that on his heavy sixer. The only mod it'll get. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't mod a heavy screw sixer. Don't too much. And I'd probably maybe do that mod. Yeah. Um, I don't have a heavy. I just have a light. And um, I did the RGB mod on it. Okay. I probably wouldn't do that to a heavy sixer because that's cool. like you don't want to wreck that. <laughs> There's a lot of lot more light sixers. Yeah. But anyway, I'm hoping to do that this weekend, and I will report back on Wednesday the results if I do get around to doing it because cool. I, I do want to do that because I have an exclusive game that I need to debut on uh, the Uno cart. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, and I think that's all the updates and information. And I think we're done for this week. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. RC70, Iceposta, Dan AVC, Arena Foot, jumping in at the last minute. Uh, let's see, scrolling back, Ground Trooper, uh, Mr. Beefy Morris, General Jughead, Nathan Strum, uh, Mr. Fix. Is there... Six five zero two. Which one? Where? Is there where? six five zero two? Oh, oh, it's mixed in. No, no. Up or Up down? There. Oh, there it's right green. In the middle. Green against green. Azure yeah. six five zero two. Yeah. Splendid nut. Uh, I think I got everyone. Thanks for tuning in once again. Uh, and Thunkist made yeah. a monkey Woo. right at the end of the stream <laughs> just to sneak his just name in. Just had to get it in there, yeah. <laughs> Another good show, Dan AVC says. Thank you very much. Yes. We, we aim to please we, and we try to entertain. I just come and play with you. That's, 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 <laughs> that's he aims all to I please. Need. I just show up. <laughs> yeah. So and I bring some wine. And some wine. Yeah. I have some water. Yes. So we'll be back <laughs> next uh, next Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific yep. time. With Erlen. With Erlen. Nice. Uh, 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern time and whatever it is in GMT. 7? I think it's 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and you're very welcome, Nathan. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, some more fun games next yeah. week. And hey, everybody, have a good weekend. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. As I lean over and click things. Bye-bye. <laughs>